back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, and I know it's been forever. I know you motherfuckers are like, when is Lizzie gonna post another video? Yo, what's up with Lizzie? Like, what's going on with her? Guys, I'm gonna tell you everything. Well, not everything, because I don't want to get too into detail. Because trigger warning, it has things to do with depression, with anxiety, with fucking drugs. I just. I feel like I had to tell you guys what's been going on in my life. But while we are talking about that, I'm not gonna keep you guys all bored and stuff. We are gonna roll up blend together. So let's do it. So for this little segment, I have my handy dandy little grip. I don't wanna show too much because I don't want YouTube to like ban me and shit for community guidelines and shit like people have been doing on TikTok, so. Got me fucked up. A lot of people like me smoking with y'all, so I'm gonna keep doing it. In the last video I posted with you guys, I had mentioned that I got a job, which is fucking dope. I'm I'm happy, I like my job, and I just I'm like, you saw that like little hesitation that I stopped. Oh my god, guys, look at this cute little pouch I got at the smoke shop, and it's smell proof. I haven't really been feeling like myself lately. I I had explained in another video that I have depression and anxiety. And I didn't, I honestly, for a while, I didn't even know if I had it. I just was like, why am I depressed? Why am I always so anxious? Or some bullshit like that. Like me, that's anxiety and depression. But the more that I study it and the more that I read about shit, it's like, holy shit. Like, I'm like, put your finger down, put your finger down, put your finger down. Like, fuck, dude. Like, I really do have a problem. And I feel like a lot of the times I rely on drugs or I rely on alcohol or other people to keep me happy and it shouldn't be like that like i have to fucking keep myself happy and i've made so many videos guys i promise like i've tried to record so many videos like these past couple of weeks because i'm like fuck i'm slacking it like while i break this shit up i'm gonna show you guys a little clip i tried to film a couple days ago cheers fellas what's the deal you know we're over here chicken baking baking bag bean boo chill Vianney, I oh i had the blunt nice no. hey guys, hi guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> Sorry, our channel. Sorry, the hurts. lighting is kind of like we are having a little smoke sesh, and we wanted to do. I haven't done a smoke sesh like with you guys and with other people in the car, so I wanted to see what we all talk about. Maybe you guys send questions because I'm pretty sure we all bring up shit when we're high just to talk about it, you know. I wanted to give a shout out to my homegirl Luke Peters. I'm gonna leave her fucking IG down below. I want to thank her so much for always watching my videos. She's always like one of the first people to go watch this shit as soon as it goes up. And she's always coming teen. Like, I love her. Thank you so much, Lupe, for watching all my stuff and being so supportive. I have posted a question, like, woo, like, months back. And it's pretty much asking, like, if you had the ability to go back in time or to go into the future, but only one time, what would you do? And it was Des. I think her Instagram is at Desi Wezzy. She had told me that she would go back in time so she could um, revisit an old relative that passed away. Yeah, I would, I would too. <clears throat> Why do you say that? Like, if you could go back in time or into the future, but just once, which one would you choose and why? Back to the the past. Why is that? So I say goodbye to my mom. Because the day she passed away, we got into a big ass argument, so I still feel like guilty. You know, like, damn, I didn't get to say goodbye to her shit. Honestly, dude, ever since I've got, dude, guys, I feel like I'm just talking to one of you, whoever's watching this <laughs> video. Ever since I met Randy, like, I hate to say it, but he used to get in a lot of trouble. But, and every time he would get in trouble, yeah, he had to do something, community service or go to jail. But in the long run, like, he's never had to serve time and he never had to serve time, like, in prison, at least for, like, a long time. Like, but that's what I'm saying. Oh. Like, I've seen how while his mom takes care of him while she's up there because... There have been times that he could have fucking went to jail and did actual to time. prison for seven years. You what don't pay attention What about you, Vianney? Is there something you want to talk about that's going on in the world that bothers you? Mm. This COVID situation, man. Yeah, it's already that. almost <laughs> over, though. Like, everything's starting to calm down. Restaurants are at 100% capacity in Texas. Like, No, but it's like a test, you know? You just want to... They're okay, going to do that and close. then watch. Like, in a month or two weeks... Everything's gonna go back to lockdown. Because you know how people are not wearing the mask already? So. Well, yeah, because it's not the law. It's not federal. Like, it's not the law by the Texas. So, like, so. like at, we went to EPTX and nobody was wearing a mask up in that bitch. Oh, yeah. Like, I didn't yeah. notice until I was leaving and I was about to put it back on. It was really packed. I don't want that. Never 
I don't want that. Me either. Sorry. Come on, girl. <laughs> yeah, give oh, us some I ideas. always tell you guys to fucking tweet me at fucking Lizzie Sanchez, the same as my Instagram, my Snapchat, everything, and nobody comes through and tweets me like ask Lizzie, like talk about this shit, like let me know, like literally let me know like because. What? We could talk on and on about a lot of bullshit, but I don't know. You guys got bored watching me? Like, let me know. You want to see more of Randy? Let me know. Like, I'm not going to know what y'all want. Hey, yeah, you come on. He's mine, though, so y'all better chill the fuck out. Hi, guys. So, we're back here at the bar, and we told you guys we were going to go out and do our own shit. Of course, Randy's with me, and he's blocking his face because he's drunk, probably. And anyway, this is my stepdad. The one OG that knows how to party, so what's up, Eli? What's up, what's up, what's up? We are here at our favorite place called B52. If you know about it, then... Have you tried the good shit, shot? Watch your shots. But anyway, we are here. This is another part of our day of our life. We like to go out and drink. Unfortunately, even though it's bad for our wallets, we still do it. Yeah, guys, so like most of that video that you guys just saw, I was hammered. I was drunk. I was high. I was on something else, some other shit that I really don't want to talk about because, yeah, trigger warning. I just, it's not something that I want the world to know that I do or did because I'm really trying not to think about that shit because I feel like that is one of the reasons why my depression is coming back because I'm relying on being high or fucked up all the time. And I was talking to my mom, I'm like, that shit is not good. I shouldn't have to feel the need to be fucked up all the time. And, it makes me sad honestly like that part makes me sad the most is that like i could be just chilling at home doing nothing and i used to love being by myself i used to just love being at home watching tv laying down do i need to be out there i need to be filming shit and it makes me sad because i just put that shit all on hold because i wanted to do more shit like rather than filming it i was just out there living life and not in the right way taking care of yourself and self-care but I haven't been doing that either and it makes me well again sad and <sighs> like but i did want to come on here and explain to you guys that i am gonna try so much harder to film more videos and to stop being so sad because why am i gonna be sad i have friends i have family that take care of me and like that want to see me succeed and and if you're still watching this video by this time like thank you thank you so much like i really appreciate you hearing me out I love this grinder, guys. I've had it since I was living in LA. It has three chambers. The one that I just took out the weed from. And it has a third one, like most of you guys already probably know. And it collects keef, but obviously I don't have any because I smoke it up. I know a lot of you guys go through depression and anxiety too. A lot of shit has changed since the last time I talked to you guys. Like this room that I used to film in every day, it's not even my fucking room no more. It's a fucking guest room. It's not a big deal to me because I have my own room upstairs now and I wanted to film in there, but it's a mess, guys. So the fucking lighting in there sucks. So I don't know how we're gonna do that. Okay. So the other day at the smoke shop, I went and I picked up a, I wanna say a lot of shit, but not really. Oh, well, I already showed you guys that smell proof thingy me trigger. And then I bought some paves because I don't think I've ever rolled a joint with you guys so let's try it out so we are gonna start rolling if this goes against community guidelines uh, it's it's tobacco i promise anyway what we're gonna do first we're gonna get our paper we're gonna take that shit out you don't need this shit it doesn't even work and oh duh the filter love this shit because you could just literally like and then it closes right up you don't have to worry about losing them or nothing so me, I like to put the tip at the end because I roll from here to here. Hopefully this shit doesn't come out dumb. And while I roll this up, guys, real quick, I'm going to show you another video that I tried to start filming and I just, I went too hard in the gym, guys. I had to fucking actually work out and not film. <laughs> but here he goes. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm still in bed. And today we are going to be doing a day in our lives. And as in our lives, I mean me and this guy. Ooh. <laughs> Counting that strip for money. Nah, nah, anyway. Never see each other. But today we finally got a day off. Yay! Yay! Right now, I'm going to get ready. I'm going to go to the gym. 
and Randy is gonna go try to fix his bumper, but you'll see why in a minute. Ready guys, so I already hit level up. I already went ahead and made my coffee today because I woke up tired as fuck and I was not down for the gym. But I said, you know what? My fat ass needs to go to the gym because my sister's getting married in October and yeah, I cannot be looking like a big old Shrek next to her beautiful princess ass. Okay, I'm gonna fix this hair and then we're gonna go ahead and go to the gym. Right now I'm filming in my bathroom, I'm sorry. <laughs> but as I'm getting ready, I wanted to show you guys what I usually do or what I wear when I go to the gym because I haven't been there in like pff, ages. But <laughs> I guess like COVID started getting worse and then they had to close all the gyms and that's when I just like was like, oh, damn, I'm to no more. now that we can go back, I'm super excited and I'm gonna show you what so I usually wear. For the wear. gym guys, I like to go with like a sports bra. I usually just put a sports bra and then I put my, my little sweat thingy majiggy. Oh my God, I just took it off. But yeah, it's really cool. I like it because it has the little buckles in the middle. So it keeps it from I don't know how to explain it, like locking or whatever the fuck. So let's try to zip this bitch back on. There we go. And you see that? Like, I know I haven't gained weight or nothing cause this shit used to fit me tired as fuck and right now it fits me like just perfect. So I might have to order another one. And then you just snatch that shit. Dude, girls. Believe me when I say that this shit really helps you sweat and it really helps What is it called? Trim your waist. There we go. That's how you say that. Yeah, so after that I usually like I'm not confident to be going to the gym like I don't do that. I'm a fucking insecure ass little girl, but Dude, you wear whatever the fuck you want to make you feel good and you're gonna feel good at the gym like Wear some fucking crop top with this shit. Who gives a fuck if your waist trainer is showing because Alrighty guys, this is my closet. It doesn't have a lot right now because yeah, all my fucking clothes are down here. I had to make room because my man, um, he took up half my closet, typical, right? But I'm trying to decide what the fucking top to wear. I have a cute ass top that I usually is like my go-to to work out because my sister got it for me. What's up? It matches my outfit. What's up? Should I do it? I also have this cute ass feeling peachy sweater which i fucking love working out in dude it like it just makes me feel confident i feel like a bad bitch when i walk in there i'm like with my booty sticking out i'm like yes girl do it hey i have a friend that's coming with me to the gym hi guys i know we're looking like shit but you i got my friend here vna with me you already saw her well you're gonna see her in my next video but um, we are on our way to Planet Fitness, yes, because I got that black card. What's up? Alrighty, guys, I've already put everything in. I'm just trying to make sure that nothing comes out while I'm rolling it. Because, for those of you who don't know, with joints, you have to, like, literally roll it all at once. Like, let's see if I can do this. Oh! I did it! Because <laughs> what I usually do, I like to tuck in the the top so I can just like, twist it closed there we go and now you guys got yourself a little watermelon sandia joint I hope you guys like it unfortunately I can't really smoke it right now again I just wanted to thank you guys for watching my video and for thinking I want to thank all my loyal supporters all my loyal followers who always comment on my stuff and I think I shouted you out in one of the other videos. I'm gonna make sure that I fucking tag you in that shit and then I fucking put you all your info, girl. Or girls, because there was two of you. Thank you, make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. You guys can always hit me up like, hey, yo, I want a shout out. Like, if you're subscribed to me and you follow me on Instagram, then shit, I don't mind giving you a fucking shout out. But if you are new to this channel, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification so you get notified every time i post a video yeah i'm gonna go ahead and smoke this joint off camera but bye guys <laughs>